Welcome! In Power BI, there may be the rare occasion when you wish to show figures in a diagram, but you would like to prevent the user from interacting with the diagram, such that if a user tries to click on, say, a bar in a bar chart, they are unable to do so. Currently, in Power BI, it is not possible to turn off the interactivity. One solution to this is to place a transparent shape over the top of the chart. Here I have a bar chart which contains products and their total stock. And at the moment, it's a standard bar chart such that if I hover over a column, you will see a pop-up containing information and if I click on a column, it becomes highlighted. To hide the interactivity aspect, I will go up to Insert on the toolbar and under Shapes, select a rectangle. I will then place the rectangle such that it covers my entire chart. In the formatting section, under style, with the rectangle still selected, I change the fill to off and the border to off. Now, if I try and interact with my bar chart, nothing happens. To make sure that the rectangle always attaches to the bar chart, I can highlight both items and right click and select group. So now if I move the bar chart, the rectangular shape moves with it. Please note that if you have more than one diagram on the page, you still need to consider the interactivity between the two diagrams. For example, here, my total stock by product has my transparent rectangular shape over the top such that I can't click on the bars. However, my total stock by location bar chart, if I were to select a bar, it filters my product bar chart. To prevent this from happening, if I select my total stock by location bar chart, go up to the top to format, select edit interactions, what I then need to do is move my transparent shape slightly such that I can get in at the bar chart underneath. If this was a real life scenario, I would tend to deal with the interaction between the two charts before applying the transparent shape. But in this scenario, if I go to my selection pane and select shape, I can move the shape slightly then go back to my total stock by location bar chart, click on that, and then I can access the none relating to the bar chart. If I then go back to my selection pane and click shape, I can then move my shape back to cover my bar chart. Now, if I click on a bar in stock by product, nothing happens and if I click on a bar in my total stock by location, my total stock by product bar chart no longer filters. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and if you would like to hear more from me, please click the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.